Hello and welcome to Storytime with Nada. I am Miss Nada and this is Bo and Donna and they welcome you too. Today's story is a very important story and it's about staying healthy in winter time. The wind is howling and Bo and Donna's village is covered with lots and lots of snow. It is fun to play in the snow and watch the beautiful, the beauty of the big snowflakes gently floating down from the sky. However, with a full day in the chilly weather comes soaked feet and cold hands and a not so welcome outbreak of sniffles and sore throats. And that, my dears, is not fun at all, is it? Staying in bed and feeling miserable while their friends were playing outside endlessly well, that's simply not acceptable. Nana to the rescue! Nana, Nana, please rub that, that goose fat or that smelly thing on my chest and cover it with a warm woolen cloth like you did last time, begs Bo. It made me feel so calm and I did not cough at all. I also promise to drink down my honey with fresh lemon juice every morning. Tell me, Nana, what else can we do to stay healthy so I don't get sick again? Moaned Bo. Well, Bo, making sure that we eat healthy, vitamin-rich foods is certainly very important. And not staying outside in the cold all day long when our socks and feet are wet and cold, that would not be of any help, she said with a little smile. Remember how I asked you to eat the garlic with your soup or when I chopped it up fine and mixed it in into some of, your, of my dishes, which you regularly pushed aside. Do you remember? That would help. How often did I offer a spoonful of our local honey topped with lots of fresh lemon juice? I think you said you were just too busy to take it, weren't you? And you just simply rushed off to play. Let's not forget all those beautiful tangerines that Aunt Myra sent us from her trees where she lives. Look how beautiful and big they are. These are honey bells. And that we have lots of fermented sauerkraut from our fall pickling project. Do you remember? You and Donna helped me to fill that barrel full of cabbage heads and shredded cabbage. And when it started to ferment, it had a very pungent smell, didn't it? Oh, yeah. That stinky barrel. We had to hold our noses whenever we went into the cellar to fetch some potatoes or apples for you, remembered Bo. Why did it stink so strongly? He asked. Well, my sweet child, you see, when foods ferment, which means it turns sour, it actually changes its chemical structure. And there are many billions of invisible, naked to the eye, good bacteria, the good guys that help with this process. This is a natural way of fermenting, breaking down the fiber of the food, which helps us in the digestion then. You remember what else we added to the cabbage? Bo thought for a moment and exclaimed, salt, you added lots of salt, didn't you? Yes, I added lots of salt and you know why? because it helps the fermenting process and also protects the cabbage from going bad. It is a, a way of preserving food so it stays fresh for a long time without being refrigerated. It should be kept in a cool place yet not a freezing place and that's why we keep our barrel in the old cellar where the temperature is perfect for it. During the winter months Nana made many dishes with the fermented cabbage, or as we like to call it, sauerkraut. Have you ever heard 
sauerkraut? Have you ever tasted it or seen it in the store? Well, it's there. Just look for it. Bo and Donna enjoyed some of them, like the sautéed sauerkraut and sausage with polenta. The sauerkraut has a lot of vitamin C, especially when eaten raw like a salad. Vitamin C is a very important component for the winter season when we don't get enough sunlight and fresh fruit and veggies from our garden. Oranges, tangerines, lemons, and grapefruit have a lot of vitamin C because they grow in warmer climates where there is lots and lots of sun, like here in Florida. Thank heavens we can count on such warmer places during the time when we have our cold winter season, said Nana. Nana, I promise I will have an orange every day. Take my honey with lemon juice and also eat my sauerkraut salad too, often. Do you think that will help me not to get sick again? Pleaded Bo. Oh, I am sure my child. You are a strong and healthy little fella. And you know what? I love you so much. And that will help a lot too, adds Nana. That's all Bo needed to hear. And so he comfortably fell asleep to dream of orange groves and bees making honey for all his healing needs. Do you have any such an experience of getting a cold or having a sore throat? And what did you do to make it feel better?